It's time for Crafty Chats. The show where we talk about craft beverages. And I'm forced to craft. Which is actually a delight and anyone should be so lucky to come into my house and do crafts with me because it's a great time. I'm so lucky. Um, also, shout out to Rafa Kitchen, who is- Hey, hey. Who, uh, here, give them. Can, can, uh, can, they, can the people see the things? Yes. Uh, Don't worry, I got it. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Charcuterie? Yes. Ugh. Charcuterie it is. Um, there's a mustard on this thing that is just out of this world. It's right there. So today on the chat of the crafts. You know what I forgot? I want you to know that we do this at like, th luckily we're afternoon today. It's a Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon. Sometimes we do it at 10 a.m. And I always forget that I will have to drink alcohol. Yeah. So Until we, we show up. So we made a production choice and uh, we're doing afternoon now. Okay, hold on. I need to set this one up. And Lily, do not cut this. Because I know sometimes I get long winded. Okay. Lily. Lily. Hold. Hold it in. No, Lily. Do what you need to do. Don't. <laughs> the, the beverage that I have brought to the set today is one of my favorite liquors of all time. The first time, well, I can't tell you. I'm gonna tell you a story later. Are you ready for this? Oh my God, honey mustard. The so honey mustard I is so important. It. Rafa Kitchen, shout out. We're having Ardbeg Tin today on Crafty Chats. Ardbeg Tin. This is a single malt scotch uh from the isla region of scotland oh the isla it's an isla so for those of you who know what islas taste like this should be a great episode am i right i'm right all right let's pour it up and let's see what sam thinks about her first isla okay. absolutely we love it. Oh! oh my god <laughs> pause is Crafty Cam alive? I mean, he's still recording. Crafty Cam. Crafty Cam, are you okay? Crafty you, Cam. Did you just kill yourself? Crafty Cam jumped off the ledge, y'all. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. What happened? Oh. Crafty Cam. Oh, on. no. Is, oh. Is it broke, broke? This does not. This is not right. I mean, it still works. Better <laughs> like. Jesus bless this little Just watch camera. the corner. Watch the table corner. What were we talking about? We were talking about the whiskey of the day. Today. Ardbeg, the ultimate Isla single malt scotch whiskey guaranteed 10 years old. Ardbeg is considered by whiskey connoisseurs to be not only the best of the Isla malt whiskeys, but the best whiskey in the, what's that last word right there? Only? World. World. The next line. World. Let's see if Sam thinks this is the best whiskey in the entire it's world. He's like Elf when he's like, world's greatest coffee. First, we knows. What do we what do we smell? A hint of lemon that proceeds Hold on. as a uh, torrent of uh. <laughs> Do you know what Pete is? I don't know what Pete is. We'll talk about Pete in a little bit. But what you're smelling is peat. It it smells like woody acetone. I do smell woodiness. What do you, okay, you got some woodiness? You said so, lemon and now I can smell lemon. Okay, great. I would say like lemon balm, herbs. How about a campfire? Yeah, definitely smoke. Charcoal. Mm-hmm. Grass. Sure. Vanilla and brine. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the vanilla's not staying. All right, let's have a sip. Let's have a sip. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. We are six, what, five, six episodes into Crafty Chats, and this is the whiskey that I have been waiting for the entire time. Taste the Yardbeg tin, my friend Sam. You can do it. Sam can do. Okay, wow. What a reaction. I think that this show is changing me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, did you enjoy it? No way. I am legitimately surprised that you this, did not vomit. The first smell was legit. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to perform here. I'm yeah. not going to perform, but I'm not going to like be. But disarmed. honesty about the whiskey. Oh my God. My whole body is on fire yes, on the inside Yes, it though. is warm, isn't it? It's excellent. It's Okay. okay, wait, wait, wait. I oh, have to oh. give my uh, okay, thoughts. professional, yeah. the smoke hits harder when you drink it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> someone get this. Army. Someone get this woman a certificate. <laughs> but okay, all right, what do you what do you taste? What's it? happening? Yeah, you I tell me. I taste it, but I'm not angry. You tell me. What do you? What, what's Something going on? Something has changed within me. <laughs> We're converting her. Something is not the same. You know, we had a somebody comment on an earlier episode that was like, Sam just needs to keep drinking whiskeys, and she'll develop a palate for it. And so perhaps that is occurring. We went big with this one. Okay, this is a full-bodied Isla. A tinge of sweetness grates the tongue. Did you get the sweetness? No. No. Okay, of pure malted grains and oaky vanilla. This is. Quickly obliterated by smoky hay, dry seagrass, slightly bitter charcoal, and dense woodsy peat. You got most of the flavor profiles. Let me be straight. I'm not ordering this anywhere. Oh, I am. No. <laughs> this I'm not is, going to where we like, hey, give me that smoky this ash. This is drink. what I order. Okay, so the first time that I ever had this. Let me suck uh, on a tailpipe for a minute, <laughs> <laughs> but pay $15. The first time I ever had this, I was uh, at a cigar lounge and they were doing a uh, scotch tasting. And, uh, and sorry, the, I had too much. I had too much. <laughs> and the bartender brought out this bottle and said, have, have you ever had this? I said, no. He said, okay. He was like, well, you should just prepare yourself. It tastes like a burning pirate ship. And I took a sip and oh that is, ex it, does it taste like a burning pirate ship? I can hear the sea shanty in my heart. Exactly. <laughs> Onto the crafts! Okay, we have a fun time right now. It's a lot of paint. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. What do we got? Did y'all hear that this, well, so got some flack for it. The CDC just announced that we can no uh, us vaccinated people. Fully vaxxed. We are fully vaxxed. Um, can not wear a mask when they go places, but it feels awkward. It feels like you're, um, like, that person who doesn't want to wear a mask and doesn't care about people. Um, and we're not those people. Where's this going? I made, we're making vaccination pins that we can wear places. Oh my God. This is, uh, it's not cute. No, it's so cute. I look forward to wearing this pin that I've made. I have designed, are you saying that like you're not gonna wear it? Let's proceed. You're not gonna. <laughs> who knows what I'll do. Okay, so I designed this. With Glowforge! Right? Okay, I designed them in Illustrator. I made this design by myself too. Look at me being a designer. Okay, that's impressive. That is legitimately impressive. Uh, Crafty Cam has had uh, a rough day. <laughs> so. Crafty Cam, you were fully drunk. Crafty not Cam is focusing. lean with it, rock with it. it I is. just don't know that it's focusing anymore. Let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try. Um, so we made these, but they are just plain acrylic. Um, Crafty Cam died, y'all. <laughs> Crafty Cam. It is it's hey. also upside down. <laughs> so we need, the cool thing is, is look how many we have. Why are there so many? So that we can give them to people. Um, we are going to give away one of these. To why, why is the, the, the fist doing this number? What do you mean? Look. You're holding it the wrong way. Mm. You're, hold, you're holding it the wrong way. <laughs> no. Turn it around. Is, why is no. it a thumbs down? I'm vaccinated. <laughs> you are the worst person that I know. Turn it around. Look, it looks like he's punching no, something. No, turn <laughs> it around. Good God, turn it around. Oh, it's a thumbs up. So we're going to paint uh, these little portions and then we're gonna pull the things off. And because I have learned that things made on the Glowforge have to be peeled. Yes. Real craft question. Uh-huh. We will be painting the thumbs up. Yeah. With whatever color we want. With whatever color we want. Um. And then we have the backs to glue on. Oh God, I got the juice on oh God. Oh God. Open. Okay, so all we have to do is drink whiskey. So we engraved off the portions of- uh, Engraved off? Oh, fail. Yeah, we engraved off the, the masking paper. And so- Oh, I see what you mean. So yes. where the paper isn't, the, that's, the, that's the where, paint goes. That's where the paint will go. And then, um, you know, you put some paint on there, you, we're gonna push it into the design and then kind of wipe the excess. I just stamp it on paper and then let it dry, keep going, and then we'll peel it off when we get to the end. I'm gonna do black on my pink ones. Um, I might try that white. That sounds like a great idea. I might do white. Um, You're not gonna like spice it up and do a few colors? You're just gonna I do might. one color. I don't know, I might. I don't know what we should do. It's, okay. We have so many possibilities. Let Maybe me... a yellow on the black? Oh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, 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 since you're going back to it, let me uh, let me uh, have some notes here. Why don't you uh, pour the paint and I'll talk about whiskey for a sec. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Pete. Let's talk about Pete. No, not the guy who lives down the street. Oh my God, I hate this so much. Peated whiskey is given a smoky flavor, which you picked up on quite significantly, uh, by compounds which are released by the peat fires used to dry malted barley. So there is this grass that grows in the islands of Scotland. And it's very, very- Hi, there's a grass that grows in the islands of Scotland. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I am going to read this part because I think it's it's really interesting. I'm sure for you a think long it's really time, interesting. For a long time, this grass, uh, it, it grows has grown over like centuries. And it was the most readily accessible fuel in many areas of Scotland. But the accumulation of water in the boggy areas, it slows down the decomposition of the plant material, such as the moss and the grass and tree roots and other kind of woodsy things, which leads to the creation of something called peat. It's very tightly compacted. And it uh, wait, like peat moss. It's literally peat moss. I understand peat moss because I understand horticulture. Plants. Peat accumulates extremely slowly, and bogs are often. Are you ready for this? Bogs are often thousands of years old, uh, which means that peat moss is considered a fossil fuel. So what they do in Scotland is they take that peat moss, they cut it into bricks, and they use it as a fuel source. And so what they do is they put it in these big ovens to roast the malt to make the whiskey. But as the peat burns, it releases all sorts of the smells of woodsiness and things. And that gets into the malt and then they make the whiskey and it tastes like a burning pirate ship in these days. So look, I painted it and I just covered the whole thing. How do I? Yeah, okay. And see, look, 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 look. I like push the breasts down, less. I push the bust down. I push the brush down. Okay, and but now, now I'm stamping off the excess on the extra paper that I have. Am I gonna get my fingers dirty with paint though? I don't like it. You want gloves? Hate in a glove? No, I'm not gonna be that. Gloves. Well, my fingies. My fingies. My fingies. My fingies. And look, you can see if you're successful because when you wipe off the excess, you can see that the um, thing is in the middle. Also. I'll attach these files so anybody can make these if they have a Glowforge, if you have a Cricut, things like that. Or if you're in the Houston area and you would like to buy one, um, yeah, let me know. Holla, Holla at us. Did I do it right? Yeah, dude. Okay. And then now do a couple more to give it a moment to dry. So we had an interesting week last week, didn't oh we? Oh my gosh. So you probably know this if you watch Crafty Chats. Also, subscribe, like, subscribe, Yes, please subscribe share, to this channel. Jeez, like, do you even care? Do you love us? So we've had a week, uh, and you may or may not know from watching our channel that uh, we work together. We work at the same office every day, and uh, so that means, you know, sometimes uh, we we're at lunch together and in meetings together. There was a day last week that we had a very, very long meeting that began first thing in the morning. And then Sam left for a special lunch with some other coworkers. And Sam, why don't you tell them what happened at that point? So I was eating lunch and then all of a sudden the room started spinning while I was eating lunch. Mind you, I was trying to be professional because I was actually at lunch with my employees. Yeah, was that's their, right. I was their, their supervisor. Actually, my employees and then my employees' employees. And then the room started spinning, and then I could no longer walk. In a public place. In a public, like, white lady restaurant. <laughs> in Bellagreen, in Houston. Very much so. Um, and so I say, I'm trying to keep it cool for, like, my employees and be like, hey, I'm fine. I painted this one white. And so I go to the bathroom, and my my very, very Too in intuitive, intuitive, like, yeah, em yeah, empathetic, yeah. like, Emp really, really empathetic. smart, um, has great high emotional EQ. Yes. Looked at me and says, I'm going to come with you to the bathroom. And as soon as I get to the bathroom, I stand over the sink. I'm profusely sweating. And then I realize I can no longer walk because the room is spinning so aggressively. And then I start vomiting. And then I start <laughs> so Apparently I start yelling, was I poisoned? Was I poisoned? And I'm just doing this. <laughs> was I poisoned? And so Chelsea is there like putting a, a cold cloth on me. Um, and so I'm like, oh my God, what's happening to me? And my boy's end, is everything okay? 
and it wasn't. And then finally I was like, maybe you should take me to an urgent care. And then I stood up and I realized that I could not survive walking Life. anymore. Um, and so I go, call Adam, call Adam. So here I am at the office, just minding my own Which, business. What, did, what was the phone call that you got? Yeah. I have no idea what they told you. I was just sitting at the office, still in that same meeting that, uh, that we were having. We were working on a big project and um, phone rings and it's Chelsea. And so I answer for Chelsea. And, and she very calmly says, Adam, um, we need you to come down to Bella Green right now because uh, Sam is having some sort of medical episode and we need you to come help drive some people and make sure that she's okay and maybe take her to the hospital. And I said, uh, okay, I don't know what that means, but yes, I'm on my way and I hang up. And then what did you tell our coworkers? <clears throat> and so I hang up the phone and I said, um, Sam's having a medical emergency at Bella Green, so I'm gonna go there. And our boss looked at me and said, should they call 911? And I said, huh, yeah, that's probably better than me. And so I called Chelsea back. Which we all just got like American Heart. What was it called? Red we're, Cross. Red, yeah, Red we're, Cross? we're all like uh, Red Cross CPR certified and all these things. We've all been like super trained. Oh. And so I called back and I said, hey, Chelsea, um, I'm going to come on down there for sure and help you out. But uh, do you think you should call an ambulance? And she said, yep, yep, yep. Already done. Already done. If you could just get here quickly. Thanks. Which I'm still such a like... Um, controlling person. She's on speakerphone with the ambulance and they're like, did she eat anything? I was like, I ate tacos at 10 o'clock. She was like, Adam. <laughs> I was on the phone with Chelsea and I could hear Sam in the background. Uh, Adam. Adam, I think I've been poisoned. Uh, Adam. And I was like, Chelsea, I'll be there soon. And I had literally, okay. And also it doesn't help that the day before I had put together a tattoo gun and tattooed myself. And I was like, I got poisoned myself. <laughs> She did a tattoo herself I was like, the night before. I was like, did I give myself like some sort of... Tattoo poisoning? <laughs> I gave myself gangrene <laughs> with a tattoo gun from Amazon. <laughs> and apparently they, um, my, my coworkers, because David also came. Um, so David and I rode together because we had to figure out a way to get Sam's car home. And it was a whole thing. It was, a, it was an ordeal. <laughs> and, and he said that the employees were all going like... What is she eating? Oh, the <laughs> they said everyone was going to my plate of like salad being like, what is, what is, what in, is this? in this? <laughs> People were standing outside the restaurant like, I don't know if we should go in I don't there. know, because then the ambulance came. Long story short, I end up being rushed to St. Joseph. Uh, it turns out I have an inner ear problem and had a really intense bout of vertigo. I wasn't poisoned. I feel fine. I had to spend two days in the hospital though. Oh, and I, I drive a, a Tesla. Oh my God, whatever. And... Um, <laughs> I hated myself saying that. <laughs> well, that's a whole other part of my story in this saga. I didn't trust anyone else to drive my car. I get there and I'm like, okay, Sam, um, we're going to get you to the hospital. The ambulance is on its way. Um, but I, And I'll ride with you. I'll ride in the ambulance with you. Um, but we need to figure out a way to get your Tesla home. I said, so where are the keys? And te Teslas don't have keys. Yeah. And so she's like, here's my cell phone, take my phone. And I thought to myself, do I, in my distress, try to explain to him how to get in? And I was like, you know what, Adam's, Adam will figure it out. So at Bella Green, they have a charging station. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just leave this car here and come back for it later. I'll ride in the ambulance. And so they're getting her loaded in the ambulance. Which she throws her purse, her phone, her keys. She takes off a ring, throws it at me. It's and a family then, heirloom. Okay, and then throws me her boots. And so I'm standing in the parking lot with <laughs> all of her possessions. <laughs> and she's on a stretcher being wheeled out of Bella Green. Ah, ah. I'm still driving on the stretcher and they have me roped down so that I won't throw myself off. And I can't get the angle to throw up so I'm just going. Ah. <laughs> So we get her to, they get her into the ambulance and I look at the paramedics. I'm like, okay, hey, can I ride with her? I have all of her possessions. And they're like, you can't. They're like, oh, sorry, COVID, no. He says, throw me, throw him my boots. You might think, oh, some boots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not wear, just some boots. I wear a size 11 and wear platform heeled large Doc Martens. They're like, they're like, <laughs> it's like a weapon. <laughs> so I'm running to the Tesla. I'm standing at the door of the Tesla with all of Sam's With my jewels and my platforms. And I'm just staring at the Tesla like, how does it work though? And so I figure out how to open the door and I sit in the car and I'm like, there's no, there's no key. There's no button. There's no nothing. There's nothing. And so I'm just like, Tesla drive. He's like, I don't know you. He's like, uh-uh. But then I figured it out. 
it was a wild day and I was fine. Everybody was fine. You know, it's, it, it just shows that I don't, I have no moral to this story. It was unfortunate. <laughs> uh, well, the moral of the story is we can never return to that restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Go to Billy Green like, hey. And I'm, I'm like, back. And I'm like, as this boy, uh. <laughs> Should I get the salad? Yeah. Tell me last time. Hey, uh, oh, yeah. Is it me? Or did I come back with the day? Sir, where's the restroom? <laughs> <laughs> no, she died. I'm her twin. <laughs> Will you, which, which glue would you like? I'll let you choose. Why do I need glue? Uh, we have to put the pins on the back. Oh, yeah. It's a pin. It's not just a poker chip. <gasps> vaccinated poker chips for your first poker game since being vaccinated. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take the tape off of some of mine. And then this is the craft. Like, we're doing it. We're killing it. We're making our way through. Hey, I want to give a shout out real quick to um, the maker and designer of the shirt that I'm wearing. Diverse City, like diverse, the word, and then the word city, put them all together, hit them up on uh, Instagram. I'm sorry, did I just make the cutest thing on the planet? I think I did. I... <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at the glory. Wow. These are so cute. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with uh, the the yellow. One? The yellow one? The yellow. This is sort of like the earring episode. You know what? I want to tell you something. I took time and like actually practiced this craft and made multiple Did you iterations. Really? Yeah, it is very extra. Oh my gosh, this is this is Samantha Hernandez <laughs> right here if I've ever seen it. <laughs> this oh is the other design God. that I made. I feel like it Elaborate didn't... is an understatement, I feel like. Put that on my headstone. Or what is it called? Headstone? What is it? Head, head. Okay, look, look, it says vaccinated and it has multiple little... parts. I designed this little this little uh COVID nineteen. Uh, <laughs> COVID nineteen <gasps> Oh my god. So cute. Put it on your shirt now. Wait, I want to, I want to, I want to crack the cam. Look how cute. And look, this is the back. I'm so stupid because I can't figure out where, there we go. <laughs> it's upside down. This is very similar to the way that we made our earrings. Yeah, crafts are like Taco Bell foods. It's all the same ingredients, just kind of mixed up. Gotcha. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at me at the local farmer's market saying I don't have a mask on, but it's okay because I'm vaccinated. Also, you should go get your vaccine if you haven't gotten it. You should probably do it. You can take your mask off. Okay. Yeah, no, this is much more understated. Okay. You did it? I think I did it. H-Town get vaccinated, you know what I'm saying? Don't stab your boob. Ah! <laughs> Immediately stabs his own boob. We did it. Thank did you for it. watching Crafty Chats. Like, subscribe, share. If you stayed this long, comment wow. the secret word, which is going to be... Vaccinated? No, no. that's too easy. No. Ardbeg. Ardbeg. No. no one knows how to spell Ardbeg. Well, I uh, showed I the bottle. You can the read the label. What if the secret word is poisoned? Okay, poisoned. Past tense, poisoned. Was I poisoned? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for what, watching. Wait, why, what do they get if they do the secret word? Oh yeah, we we are. We'll, we'll, we, we'll send you a pin. If you want a pin, there's gonna be a contest. Just comment the word poison. You can get one of these pins for free. First person. First person to say poison. First person gets one. And if you don't live in Houston, we'll mail it to you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it's good. It's chaotic. Good. Chaotic. That's what the people want.